wanted to ask you about relativity and maybe bridging belief, or if it's necessary to bridge belief. For me, focusing with my inner being has become like an almost like an automatic process uh, for years, but something has come up that seems so sticky, and I'm wondering if I should try to bridge a belief about it or just like feel the sensation of it and let it pass. Do you understand what she's asking? Should I ignore it? Which begs the question, can I ignore it? Because if you can ignore it, that's always the path of least resistance. Because if something sticky is because of attention to it, which is causing resistance. So if you can ignore it, that that's what we were talking to our friend about. There's a tendency to want so much to get to the bottom of something that you just hold unnecessary stickiness to you longer than is necessary. That's what unnecessary means unnecessary. And I, I do that. I, I, <laughs> I ignore things except this was, I had cancer years ago and every year I have a checkup and ever since I've become so sensitive to the way I feel and so caring about feeling good, especially this year, like the checkup felt the fear that I felt when I got an email from the lab or a call from the doctor. There's no evidence that anything is wrong. I'm fine. But this, the experience of having to check and go back, it feels so heavy and it's only once a year, but it's so painful. Um, so I don't know how to ignore it. Well, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about what the path of least resistance really is for you. Let's start by your acknowledgement that you believe that you are fine. Do you believe that? Yes. Then why are you going for the checkup? <laughs> it's all right. Even though you feel a little bit of discomfort, once you go for the checkup and they acknowledge that everything is fine, then do you feel relief? Yes. So we're going to trivialize this for you just a little bit. We want you to feel the relationship, the relevance. Just let this settle in just a little bit. Esther's standing at the baggage carousel and the bags are going round and round and round and she doesn't yet see her bag. She's seen a lot of bags for the second and third time, but she doesn't yet see her bag. So she's feeling worried, but in the context of her life, that worry is like one little piece of sand on the beach in relationship to all the other sand on the beach. And it's easy for her to know that even though if I don't get my bag, it won't be convenient. And if I don't get my bag, I'll have to wear what I'm wearing on the stage and that would not be good. <laughs> and if I don't get my bag, I won't have my curling iron or my eyelash glue. But when you put it into context of everything, really insignificant and not worth the worry. Well, now something that you're describing seems to most like you'd be much more justified in your worry. If there was anything to worry about that was justified, if you can put it in the context of alignment or not, rather than outcome or not, the reason we trivialized it is because it's so easy for Esther to not let that be a big thing. She can turn that worry into something else really easily. Not so with something that's pushed your buttons. In other words, when that thought came, it wasn't just dissatisfaction. It took you into terror because thoughts are sort of where you last left them and things sort of started that way. It starts with something that's really simple. Then it led to more and more and more and more and more. It led to a path that you don't want to go down again. The question that we want to put to you is why would you let your mind go down that path when there's no justification for worry? You have to talk yourself into the understanding and the deliberate application of what you know about the law rather than about outcomes. We're going to give you something and we really want you to hear this at the time that that all happened, you had a different vibrational mix and the vibrational mix that you had going on at that time would allow the perpetuation of something like that. The vibrational mix that you've got going on now would not allow that. Okay. So take your life as a whole and 
let that mix keep working staying on the satisfied side and the satisfied side then that mix stays like it is but let that test worry you and let that be something that you think about a lot then that mix could in time change you see what we're getting at yes it's so nice to know and no matter what you have control no matter what it doesn't matter where you are on the emotional scale you can bring yourself back to satisfaction we never want to make it sound like that you ever reach the point of no return you don't you just reach the point of harder return and harder return and more that you have to go through you had to have a lot of experiences that caused you to launch a lot of rockets of desires and do you know hear this every time you live something that you don't want there's a counterbalancing knowing what you do want so you're always in terms of the spirit that you are always maintaining that balance you just want to do it here while you're in your physical body and so many humans give so much credence to the reality of what is that they don't let what is change very easily mm -hmm. and I feel like I've let I've allowed so much to change I mean my life is amazing and I don't spend any time thinking about this it's just when the time comes I know I guess it's where I last left it and it feels stronger because of where I usually hang out now I guess yeah that's really an important point once you get really familiar with feeling good then a little bit of not feeling good goes a long way and think about why because when you know what you don't want you know what you do want when you know what you don't want you know what you do want so you build up this really powerful attraction your vortex is calling you in really strong ways your inner being is calling you in really strong ways and the stronger it is calling you because of all that you've asked for then the more sensation of pulling away from it you feel when you do pull away if someone called you on the phone and said hello you don't know me I'm just calling to tell you I would never call you again <laughs> you would say all righty then thanks for letting me know where if someone you really care about told you that you would feel something a lot stronger if you sort of don't want it then you sort of want it and there's not really a big stake either way it could go either way you wouldn't feel too excited if it moves in that direction you wouldn't feel too unhappy if it doesn't but if you really don't want something which means you really do want something and it feels like it's moving in what you would call the wrong direction you really really feel it and so it's true the more you hang out in concert with your inner being the more it will be intolerable not to hang out in concert with your inner being what you might do in the meantime while you're feeling like you want to continue to find the reassurance of the test you might say I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna take my inner being along inner being how do you feel completely optimistic inner being how do you feel interested in the contraptions inner being how do you feel interested in these nice people that are doing this work in this place inner being how do you feel wonderful about this beautiful day inner being how do you feel fascinated with your magnificent body inner being how do you feel your inner being has a whole lot that it knows and feels about you you see so if you're gonna go take your inner being don't go anywhere without your inner being wait don't go anywhere without your awareness that your inner being is with you don't go anywhere without your inner being that's not the right statement because you can't go anywhere without your inner being don't go anywhere without your knowledge that your inner being is coming along with you and that's why it felt horrible you thought thoughts that your inner being didn't feel so you invited your inner being along and then didn't hang around with your inner being <laughs> see how it is very clarifying yes